Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. What's up? Happy September 1st. I'm so excited that it's September because that means it's getting close to fall and fall is my favorite season. And I decided to sport my Silver Shamrock t-shirt today because it's Halloween-y and makes me happy. Silver Shamrock novelties. If you don't know what movie that is referring to, a pox upon you. No, I'm kidding, but seriously, Google it. It's an awesome, awesome movie. I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. If you know, you can mention it in the drop box or in the comment section, but yeah, I'm not going to tell you, but it's a really good one that I love. It's a very polarizing movie, but it's one of my favorites, honestly. I adore it. And I'm so stoked for Halloween and crispy leaves, and I've already had a pumpkin spice latte, technically too, because I went on BOGO day. Look how tiny my ponytail is, you guys. It's so weird. My hair is kind of dirty today, so I didn't want to leave it down, but my pony is so small. It's I don't know. It's giving me a little agita. But anyway, this is a thrift store haul. The local thrift store to me was doing 50% off everything in the store for Labor Day weekend. So Yahoo, rock on. So I got some cool stuff, more than I usually find lately. And one thing is my mom's, but I'm going to show you that too. And she treated to the whole haul, which was very, very nice, which came to legit under $14. I and mean, when you see how much stuff we got, you're going to be like, holy cannoli, that's awesome. But anyway, I'll start with my mom's item because it's on the top of the bag. But she got a really nice address book. I am all about old school address books. I legit just love to find them. And this one's really cool because it's got a little clippy thing so you can move pages around. So if you don't happen to have a lot of friends whose names start with Z or Q, you can put more pages in the S or the T or the M section, you know, more common last names. But it's really nice. It's It has a quick reference guide, a names and numbers section with tons of pages. And then there's like the letters here. So you can just fill in the pages of however many you need. And I personally, I don't like to, you know, spill the tea too much, but Let's say there are a few names in my old address book that I'd like to do more than put a black line through, but because it's old school and it's bound and you only get like two pages per name, you can't do that. So this is actually a really nice one, but it's got that. It has a days to remember section. So maybe my mother will actually write like everybody's birthdays in here and not forget them like she usually does. A holiday card list so you can actually fill out the names and addresses of people you want to send cards to check off if you've sent it and received it and the year for it's got five different spaces for years that's really cool and last but not least it has directions which you know in the advent of gps not many people really go by paper directions anymore but my mom doesn't even know what GPS stands for, so suffice it to say she can't use it. She might actually use those cards. I like to have paper directions every once in a blue moon too, because you know, it you know, it's just a good thing to have as a backup plan sometimes. But anywho, so that's hers. Then I found this. This was the first thing I found. And do I need it? No, of course not. But when do you ever buy stuff you need at the doll at the as I said the Dollar Tree? I was there earlier at the thrift store. Look at this cute sock monkey lunchbox. Can you even? It's barely, it's got like a tiny scratch here and like a tiny dent there. You can see the dents, but I mean, come on. This is so stinking cute. I adore sock monkeys. I don't know how often I've mentioned that, if ever, but I do. I have several. Look at the designs all around there. Oh, look at he's even like scuba diving. Well, he has no tank, so I guess he can hold his breath a long time. Wee, he's riding in a banana boat, a legit banana boat. And there he is in outer space on the back. And why he's saying yum? Oh, because he's flying towards a space banana. Okay, okay. But this was marked $1.99, so it was only a dollar, and it's nice and clean inside. So I was like, woot, woot. I could use this as a purse. I could use it just to store random little stuff in, but I couldn't help myself. It was so cute. All right, next item we have. I have so many cups and like, like water cups and travel mugs. It's kind of a problem. But you guys, I couldn't resist. I found this one first. I don't typically look at them in thrift stores because, you know, they're used sometimes, usually, probably. And you have to wash them really, really well. But, you know, I wash things with super hot water and tons of soap. And, you know, I'm super careful. But you guys, look at this cup. It's from Wicked. 
which I absolutely loved. And then on the back, so much happened before Dorothy dropped in. 99 cents, you guys. That means it was 50 cents. And it came with a lid on it, this type of pop-up lid. So you can put a straw in there or just sip out of it. But it's really, really cute. It's just, you know, acrylic. You know, not the thickest, most wonderful material in the world. But I would say it's probably safe to bet that somebody paid at least 10 bucks for this filled with something maybe not even alcoholic at the theater when they went to see Wicked. So 50 cents, yes, please. And then I found another one, and I have not seen this show on Broadway, but I love the movie, you guys. It's Mean Girls. You can't sit with us. But you can unless you're a dick, then you can't sit with us. Us being me, myself, and I, I guess, presently. But um, yeah, I don't even, I've never even heard of this theater. Jujimson? Ju Jamson? I don't know. Theaters. Oh, theaters. Oh, theaters. So this might have been from the movie. I didn't even notice that. So this was probably a promo back in the day when the movie came out because it wouldn't say theaters plural if it was for a Broadway show. And they actually had two of these there, but one only had a lid and the other one did not. But you guys, again, it was 50 cents. And this one has this type of lid, which I don't know if these are the proper lids they were supposed to come with, but they were on them when I found them and they come on and off very easily. So dude, seriously, oh my gosh, this might even be from the movie. Cause like I said, theater's plural, that wouldn't indicate something on Broadway or on the stage. So I don't know, that's even cooler. All right, then the next item I got, I actually saw when I was in the thrift store the other day and thought about it, but it was only on 25% off day and I was being El Cheapo. But, you know, I really, I need to save my money and I'm trying to be really good about that. I'm earning a little bit through my Pura Vida commissions and thank you to everyone who's purchased stuff, by the way. Just an FYI, if you purchase now through September 2nd tomorrow. I think it probably ends, I would guess, 11.59 Pacific time, but I'm not positive about that. But right now, it's free shipping, you guys, with no minimum purchase. And you can still use my code CarrieMurphy20 for 20% off your whole purchase. That is only through tomorrow. And again, I'm not positive of what time it ends tomorrow. I'm guessing 11.59 East, uh, excuse me, West Coast time because Pure Vita is based in California, but I'm not 100% sure. So I would say use it sooner rather than later. Typically, you have to spend $35 to get free shipping. So the way Pure Vita works, I've mentioned this before, just really quickly, you have to have at least a minimum of $10 of merchandise in your cart after discounts. That is for any Pure Vita order. That has nothing to do with my code, my discount, this free shipping sale. You cannot place an order with Pure Vita unless the total comes to at least $10 after discounts. But you guys, if you were to purchase, say, two six dollar bracelets which would bring you to twelve dollars you would save um twenty percent that brings you down to forty so it'd be just under ten dollars you can add a mystery bracelet for like four bucks there's also several bracelets that are on sale right now for four dollars and twenty cents because i know because i just placed an order myself to get the free shipping the other day i got two of the bracelets that were 420 on sale and then i got a six dollar bracelet and then i got my discount code and then i got free shipping so the entire total came to like eleven dollars and change which was amazing that's neither here nor there but the point being that's really my sole source of income right now besides selling my persevering pretties which are bracelets that i'm selling and anklets on my facebook page persevering pretties just type that in the search bar and um i just got my first commissioned collage i don't know if you guys know this i make collages i've been doing it since i was a teenager i just literally i do them by hand nothing is digital i legit take magazines and cut out words and glue them on paper i typically do them in eight by ten size because they're easy to frame I've made a couple as gifts and my friend Jackie was like, oh my God, would you please make me one? I will pay you. And it was like, oh my God, really? Like that made me feel like a real artist. And then I actually got a private message from another friend. Well, no, it was a message on my Facebook page, but she privately wants to talk about what I'm charging, which I have no idea because Jackie and I didn't discuss that. <laughs> but she wants me to make one too. And I'm like, holy crap, I'm actually getting paid for art, which is just extraordinary and something I never thought would happen so that the long side aside there was just basically to emphasize that I don't have a traditional job but I am trying to earn money in little ways so even the difference between a five dollar cap 
for 25% off or for 50% off makes a difference. And obviously my mom paying for it made it 100% off for me. But you guys check this hat out. How cool is this? It is an official Marvel licensed product. It's a little bit dirty inside and this folding is just for me trying to crease it and make it look good in the store. But you guys, first of all, the colors are so cool and pastel and I love it, but it's like the old school style of Marvel characters. But look at, you've got Spidey on there, you've got Iron Man, you've got Hulk. I think you've got Black Widow on there somewhere. Um, who else did I see? Iron Man. It's so cute, right? I just thought this was an amazing hat. And again, it was $4.99, so I got it for only $2.50. I can put it on. It's not going to leg perfectly well because I have my pony in the back, but, and I'm still trying to get this folded nicely, but I just thought this was such a fun cap and so unusual. So I couldn't help myself. All right. And then last but not least, I legit said to my mom, because I've been looking for weeks, maybe even months for a new handbag. I really wanted to buy a handbag that was a fun shape. Betsy Johnson-esque. It didn't have to be Betsy Johnson necessarily, but you you guys know if you're familiar with Betsy Johnson's style. I have a few bags of hers. She makes some really fun shaped bags. Like it'll be shaped like a telephone or it'll be shaped like a donut or it'll be shaped like, you know, just a cat's face or whatever. Not only does she work with great prints, but she works with really cool shapes. And that's kind of in the budget that I can afford. I know there's some really nice custom handbag makers that I've seen like on Instagram and stuff that I like drool over their bags, but it's just not in the budget right now. But I said to my mom, God, it would be really cool if I could just find a funky, cool, fun shaped handbag. That's really what I want. And lo and behold, you guys, can you even, right before we left, I found this. It is an official Disney rock and roller coaster. See, there's the rock and roller coaster with Aerosmith. It doesn't say with Aerosmith, but Aerosmith's music is on the rock and roller coaster. Handbag, shaped like a freaking guitar. I mean, can you even, how fun is this? With the little like strap accents and the guitar shape and the fun bling on there. And you guys, it still has the freaking Disney price tag on it of $29.95. It's never even been used. Can you even deal? It was $12.99, which means it was $6.50. Like, legit. I mean, even look at, like, the sparkly, cool little zipper pull that kind of looks like a guitar pick. It's just so cute. So I'm definitely going to be bringing this with me to the, um, the Horror Side Show flea market next weekend which I'm so stoked about but yeah so all together for all of that stuff it was like $13 and change which is just totally batshit I'm just so excited and I was and I felt really good too because on the way out there was a lady in the line in front of me it was VIP day which means you have to have their stupid app on your phone which is impossible for me to load I have a Samsung uh, Galaxy uh, S9 so it's like the second newest model, I think. And I cannot get this app to work on my phone. I've never, ever, ever seen anyone load this app in the store and not have an issue with it. It's ginormous and it sucks because if you could load the app, you would not only be able to get the VIP discount through the app, but you accrue points for your purchases so you can get free stuff and additional discounts. But this poor woman was completely done with checkout. She bought a bunch of stuff, she and her husband. The cart was, was you know, filled with bags. And the woman ringing her, you know, she's like, you have to have your app. It's VIP day. And she's trying to load the app and she's, you know, really working hard at it. And I could see that it wasn't working for her. And I was like, ma'am, you know, you won't be able to get your points, but I'm more than happy to let you just use my VIP card to get your discounts. You don't have to put your stuff back. And she spoke broken English, and but she, you know, she was able to get out, yes, yes, help, help, please help, please help. So I gave the cashier my card. She scanned it, no problem, because I could hear the cashier starting to say, well, you could come back tomorrow when it's open to everybody, but, you know, I can't promise your stuff will still be here. We can't hold anything. And I was like, oh, no, 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 that's not cool at all. So I used my VIP card and she got her discount and she and her husband were so grateful and I just posted on my Facebook page before I shot this that it feels so freaking awesome to you know to embark on random acts of kindness I've always tried to be a kind person but sometimes my therapist Hillary probably says it best depression is a very selfish disease and it is 
and it can be because you just focus so much on how bad you feel that sometimes you lose track of how other people may be feeling and my friend Jen says that I'm definitely an empath as is she so I do tend to feel other people's emotions very 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 strongly like more strongly than the average bear but with the depression and the empath thing and the anxiety they all collide sometimes and I do you know to quote to use another quote that I love Joe Beth Williams says this line in Desert Bloom one of my favorite movies check it out it's fabulous Annabeth Gish is in it Ellen Borkin John Voight oh my god it's phenomenal but she says to her daughter who's played by Annabeth Gish a girl who gets all wrapped up in herself makes a pretty small package and I keep that in mind sometimes when I get in the depths of despair and just being so caught up in myself so more than ever and this is partly thanks to my friend Jackie who's one of my besties who's just like on a mission to just constantly be positive now uh, she's a fellow hashtag warrior recovering from you know her, in, in constant recovery from her own mental illnesses but she um, is definitely part of my inspiration that I really just want to do good things for people. And even if they don't appreciate that, that's not the point. That's not, you know, you don't do a random act of kindness expecting a reward. It has to be a selfless act. Like the other day, and I'm just going on a little tangent because, you know, I'm wanting to do that. So obviously you don't have to watch any further if you were just interested in the, the haul. But um, I went to Starbucks the other day. Um, I might have told this story in the last video if I did forgive but I went to Starbucks the other day I think it was yeah it was Thursday and after three o'clock it was buy one get one for drinks it was happy hour which I think they do like once a month so I went and I got two pumpkin spice lattes for myself iced with skim but I did whipped cream because I feel like in my mind I like to pretend they cancel each other out if you don't do whole milk you can get the whipped cream I only usually do whipped cream like the first time I get a drink or the first time a season I get a drink next time I would not get the whipped cream but anyway so there's a girl with her boyfriend or husband online in front of me and they order one drink and the cashier's ringing them up and proceeding like business as usual and I said you know I'm sorry to interrupt but just to let you know it's it's happy hour so it's BOGO for all the drinks so even if you don't want you know another beverage you can get a second one of the one you ordered and it would be free so she's like no way wow really and then she just ordered a second one not a thank you not a smile not an, a nod of acknowledgement and then as we're like at the end waiting for our drinks to be ready like I kept smiling over at her and her boyfriend thinking maybe I'd get a smile back or a wave or thanks on the way out the door and I didn't and it was like you know what it was a little annoying I'll admit but I still felt really, really good because I did something kind for somebody. And like this lady today with the VIP card, like she couldn't have been more grateful. She was so happy because she's sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, all this stuff I took this time to pick out and have rung up and now I'm gonna have to either pay full price or hope that it's still here tomorrow. So the fact that I was able to help her just made me feel like a million bucks. So I feel like, I don't know. I definitely believe that karma is real. I literally found 20 bucks in a parking lot yesterday and it was like so random because stuff like that never really happens to me. I legit found it in the parking lot and I looked around like all over to see if there was anybody by their cars, if there was anybody walking past, you know, that might have just dropped it. I mean, obviously I'm not going to go into freaking Popeye's restaurant and go, did somebody drop a $20 bill in the parking lot? Because if they did, they would have come out looking for it if they realized it. So obviously, you know, anybody that claimed it would probably not have been the genuine person person that lost it so I said you know what I'm gonna take this as a sign from a higher power whatever that may be that you just got a little reward a little thanks for you know for you know a little karma reward you know you've been a good person you've been trying to improve the way you treat people so maybe that's a little you know treat just like asking like literally manifesting into the universe verbally that I wanted to find a cool shaped bag and finding one about 30 seconds later so I definitely believe karma is real I definitely believe in performing random acts of kindness whenever you possibly can and it's its own reward you don't have to get something like that you don't have to find money you don't have to have good luck it just felt really really good because it was after I got the bag that I helped the lady but I just like to perpetuate kindness and generosity and warmth especially you know with the state of things in the world and in this country right now and I'm not going to get any more into depth into that but the world needs more kindness so it makes me feel really good to play a small part in 
perpetuating that cycle. So anyway, that is my haul, you guys, and my little rants, my, not even rants, my little just sharing moment with you. But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this. I can't even tell you. I mean, I just truly, truly appreciate every time you guys click on one of these videos and watch them and like them and comment. It just makes me feel like a million bucks. So that's kind of like your random act of kindness towards me and trust that they are felt and appreciated. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day. It is Sunday, so enjoy your Labor Day if you're here in the U.S. and you have the day off from work tomorrow. I know the kiddos that started back to school, hopefully you guys are off tomorrow. I think schools are all closed on Labor Day. I know here in New York they don't go back until either Tuesday or Wednesday after Labor Day. But um, I know like down south here on the east coast i know on the west coast a lot of kids are already back in school enjoy your time with your kids enjoy your time with your parents enjoy your time with the people that love you and i promise you even if you don't think there are there are people out there that love you and have a great rest of your three-day weekend if you get to have that so all right be back soon with more stuff bye guys